Well, hello there and happy first quarter moon to all of my Cancers. First quarter moon in Aries. That's right. Aries is a fire sign. It's the first sign in the zodiac. It's ruled by Mars, which is the warrior planet, the planet of energy, um, action and assertion, all those wonderful things, right? So where are you putting your energy? So we, we are, if you're, uh, depending on when you're watching this, you, the moon may still be in Pisces where those emotions may have been all over the place, right? So now it's time to spring forward and not fall back into uh, those overwhelming emotions, like really sift through all of those emotions. Let's get into it, Cancers. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. Let's see what message is in your cards. The energy has already been cleared. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, Cancers. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. First card out of the deck, and I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, is Ten of Pentacles. That's right. Legacy, legacy, legacy wealth is on someone's mind. That's right. What do I want to what do I want my name to be associated with and disassociated with, right? We also have the three of swords. Certainly not heartbreaking, deep disappointment, being on your emotions and feelings. So I definitely see somebody saying, I'm moving on from that. I'm moving on from family, deep disappointment, family heartbreak, whether it's blood relatives, married into exes friendships that were like family. I'm moving on from all of that disappointment because I have at least eight streams of income in me. I have a lot of ideas that keep coming across my path and it's time for me to put some action behind those ideas instead of me being disappointed over what I think family should be. I think what that should look like for me, right? Here we have the temperance card. I'm ready to redefine family, right? And so source is saying to you, here we also have the eight of swords. So this is, see with this right here? <clears throat> when you think about the disappointment with family, whether it's ex-love interest, friendships that's like family, blood relatives, when you thought about all the dis deep disappointment emotionally, your emotions, your creativity dried up, right? So Source is saying, okay, let's see what's coming across your path, uh, Cancer, so that you can start the process of really starting to get, and you, you have a loved one on the other side that's really, really helping to over, help you to oversee you know, family situations. Because I know that's what somebody's been asking for. Somebody's been saying, hey, I want to settle down, you know, with somebody. So I definitely see a new, um, a new spark coming into somebody's life. So new, some new inspiration to keep moving forward. So that's going to be somebody's new inspiration. Like something is going to give you just to kind of sort of, you know, the page energy is very youthful energy. So something is inspiring you. Maybe it's someone coming into your life they have this youthful energy. They kind of like a little, uh, put a little flame or motivate you to start moving further away from overthinking uh, maybe the idea of, fa like past ideas of family that may have been planted in your head and start moving towards what new your new definition of family could look like. So yeah, somebody coming into your life is really like helping you. You definitely have a guardian angel that's been watching over you saying, okay, I know exactly who cancer deserves in their life, right? Somebody who comes into your life and they just have this like this youthful spark. Doesn't mean they're older or younger than you are. I mean, it could be older or younger, it could be the same age, really. But the bottom line is that source is like, you know, somebody has dealt with so much disappointment and heartbreak when it comes to your blood relatives. And for some of you all, ex-love interests that you may have thought about marrying or, you know, building a legacy with or past partnerships in like, because not everybody wants to be married, but past partnerships when it comes to building a legacy. So it's time for some good news to come across your your path, uh, uh, cancer. And so source is saying, hey, look, leave all of the temptation behind the, the bait and switch. The um, Remember when we talk about the moon being in Pisces, that can also mean some emotions from exes coming back up who also are trying to pull on your emotions to show you, hey, yeah, I miss you. Uh, I miss you, Cancer. You know, we could have had this legacy together. And Source is trying to pull you in a new direction. So that's why you see this energy right here is like leave the past behind. See, as, or, this energy has their back to their past and said, okay, leave that past behind. There's a whole, take a leap of faith into your own future. So it's time for you to move forward away from the heartbreak. So an ex is an ex that is, um, 
who has broken your heart in the past over and over and over again. They're trying to come back into your space. Their energy is trying to come back into your space. And you may be thinking, well, you know, maybe maybe time has passed. Maybe, you know, people have matured. Maybe people have changed. And so it's just saying, yeah, maybe they have. But I have something brand new for you, right? And some of you are already in your relationship with your person. Even if you're having some kind of sort of little bit of challenges or whatever, if the if the pros outweigh the cons, then why would you go back to an ex? You know what I'm saying? Um, if the if the pros outweigh the cons, and you could be going through, because remember, there's a lot of stuff happening. We are in the year of wealth, and there's a lot of purging that's going to happen this year. So if people are trying to get better, and they're purging. And you see, I'm sit down and write out a list, not just in my head, overthinking something. I need to actually write it down. Pros and cons of the relationship. You know, should I stay or should I go? Either way, source is going helping you to build your legacy. Somebody has a somebody has an ancestor in the background that is somebody has an ancestor in the background that's really helping you on your journey. That's really, really helping you on your journey. So stay focused. Stay locked in and stay laser, laser, laser focused. All right. We also have the Ace of Wands. Your third eye is open, the star card. Here we also have the Ten of Swords. Here we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Here we have the Six of Cups and also the Devil card, right? So here we have the Ace of Wands. And uh source is saying, like again, you have you have um some good news coming your way. And so it's just saying, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder as it relates to two situations in particular. Um, lots of talking about you happened behind your back, but you survived a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt. But I don't really want to focus on you being in woe is me mode. We're in a new year, new you, new attitude. You are trying to spring forward and not fall back into who talked about you behind your back, who betrayed you, those kind of things. We already established from this first card here that family, your definition, you may have had to rewrite your definition of what family means to you, whether it's just blood relative, family, friendships like family, family, right? You are definitely a star in your own right. And source is saying to you, your star is shining bright now, right? And so, but with that, you got to recognize that as your star shines bright, you also got to recognize what your demons are too. Do you have demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty as it relates to, you know, getting into a business relationship? Because that would be like a fan, that's a, you know, like, uh, let's say you joining your creative ideas with somebody else under contract. That's a business marriage, right? That's a marriage too. So that or a romantic situation as your star starts to shine brighter and brighter and brighter. So it's just saying also should your faith increase, uh, you know, your faith in source and not operating in fear, because that's exactly what the enemy wants you to do is to be in this headspace of, OK, I've been in business with somebody before and they burn me. Or I've been married before and that person has burned me or I thought about I was engaged and that person you know, talked about me and let other people, they let, they let other people talk negatively about me. Source is saying, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot, will of fortune. That energy is not going to burn. They're not going to be a Judas to your spirit because the same thing has happened to them. They've gone through the heartbreak too. They had to move away from their depth of disappointment too. So source is saying to you, um, when you look at your own demons of fear. It's like an angel and a devil on one shoulder, like an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder. Those of you all remember the Flintstones from back in the day when he had an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder telling him such and such. Source is saying you have an overseer, like a an ancestor that's helping you to, you know, uh, st stay protected, helping you to see what your demons are and saying to you, you can always, like I said, operate in faith. This is be operating in faith versus operating in fear. Okay. You have a very rich legacy. So congratulations to you really, uh, cancers. Congratulations to you because you can focus on operating in fear. My last business relationships didn't work out. People did this to my money. That didn't happen. You can focus on that all day long. That's falling back into that. Oh, those overwhelming emotions, or you can spring forward in faith and say, you know what? I'm moving out. I'm moving away from that, that old belief system, right? When the moon was in Pisces, um, when the moon was in Pisces, Pisces is the, I believe sign. So I'm moving away from those old beliefs 
that I can't go into a successful business or I can't have a successful family. Even if you came out of a family where everybody was divorced and you say, okay, I'm determined that my marriage is going to work. That could be you cancers. And so having those conversations up front with the person, whoever it is, right? Same thing in business. Had that conversation. Let's, let's be committed to making the business work. Let's make sure the contract is something that we can both agree on. And, you know, above, just the... Just like to help each other adjust your crowns. Yeah, you're you're a star, and people want to latch on to that star. Believe it or not, a lot of people are starting to hear. But especially if you're on social media, a lot of people are starting to hear about, uh, hear about you, right? A lot of people who have harshly judged you in the past, they want you to react. They want you to be reactive. They don't want you to. You're a very you're a very meek energy, but people want you to react to. They want to see what your your demons are. They have already told people, and they're set in their ways about feeling how thinking what they feel about you. But sources saying you're gonna feel like you hit the jackpot. You know you're gonna feel like you hit the jackpot in this family situation you're talking about. Here we have the um, three of swords came out twice. Somebody's definitely gone through a rite of passage, both in your personal and your professional life. We also have the um, Page of Swords. Um, you're coming out of a nightmare. You've come through a nightmare. The Ten of Swords came out twice, right? And then also the Seven of Swords, right? So it's like two for two. Two situations in particular have really caused somebody a nightmare where people are starting to see, hold on, Seven and Page, that would be eight. We have uh, three of swords twice, eight of swords twice, and also 10 of swords twice. So two situations in particular that was deeply disappointing for you that, you know, helped that almost dried up your creativity. You know, either people stood around and let other people talk negatively about you because maybe they were in a zombie fire state, whatever it is, you've forgiven all of them. <laughs> you've forgiven all of them in terms of like their definition of family versus your definition of family. Like for instance, if it's siblings, your definition of family could be significantly different than your sibling's definition of family, right? When So when people are talking about, oh, family over everything, some people don't believe that. Some people feel like that's your definition of family. My, my definition is different. And so anyway, I definitely see some, some changes happening here. And I do see you operating in childlike faith. So bottom line, we don't have any control over other human beings and the way they think and what they believe. And, you know, and so somebody has definitely been overthinking some things um, that source is saying, move on from the overthinking, like just move on from the overthinking so that you can start focusing on you. So you can start focusing on you, you focusing on you. All right. Here we have the three of cups. We have the five of swords. Here we have the three of swords more sword energy, right? We have the eight of wands. We also have the magician card. And then we also have the judgment card, right? So judgment card. Yep. Yeah. So judgment is definitely coming down on some energies that, um, that harshly judged you definitely. And judgment is coming down on some energies that harshly judged you and sources saying to you all the time that you went through the, the, you know, judgment of other people and judgment is coming down hard on them. Here we have the three of cups sources saying you're in a posture of gratitude that that's all behind you and you're getting your wishes fulfilled, right? So three and six is nine and nine of cups sources like, okay, keep wishing on the things that you want because they're happening, which lets me know that there's still people still talking negatively about you. There's still people wishing, you know, certain things about you would be exposed. In other words, they are behind you for a reason. They have an issue with your star shining bright. And it's quite a few energies actually. And so they want people to look at you as, um, let me see, this wheel of fortune right here, like I said, is connected to um, Jupiter, which is the, the, um, the planet of good luck, good fortune, hubris. Things are happening for you. But when you look back at the number of energies that try to play games as far as your heart is concerned, the, the eight of swords came out three times. When you think about all the, the energies that try to make you seem like you were going crazy and all kinds of stuff, sources are saying the faster you can stay away from them, the faster I'm going to speed up things for you. You got a lot of messages coming through, a lot of messages. And that's the message for you is like, if you can stay away from the end, like stay locked in and laser focused and recognize that it's not luck. 
it's your self-talk. That's what's happening. It's like you're not talking negatively about the same energies that were talking negatively about you, Cancers. And that's where it's not, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not luck or any of those things. It's your, it's the energy you put out into the universe. So remember, you don't want to change having a big heart. You don't need to overthink. I'm, I have such a big heart and why do people want to see me hurt? Okay. You have no control over people choosing darkness in their own life. And so there's definitely judgment coming down upon some energies right now and messages are coming through to you. And it's because your star is shining bright and people are trying to, you know, people would love for you to choose, you know, to operate in fear and doubt and those kind of things. And oh, okay, I don't, I don't want people to know, you know, I'm a, a big spoke. So it's just like, move on from that. Move on from that. The fear, doubt, your star is shining bright. You're actually here operating in your purpose. That's what's happening. So let me look and see what other cards I have here. Give me one second. Yeah. So that's what's happening. I mean, so when you start the overthinking part, well, well, I'm thinking overthinking this, overthinking that, and why does this keep coming up in my mind and my spirit? And how come, um, you know, I, I, I just, why does this come back up after all of this time? It's because you are heavy on people's minds. You are heavy on people in their mouth. Your, your, your name is being, um, your name is being discussed in rooms. Your feet haven't even stepped into yet. And people feel some kind of way about it. People really feel some kind of way about it. But again, feelings are okay. Your wishes are being fulfilled, right? And so again, you know that your words are creating your reality and you definitely have some, and you have a lot of ancestors rallying around you to protect and, and protect you. So, Yeah. Here we also have the Three of Cups. Here we also have the Five of Swords, the Two of Cups. We also have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Five of Wands. And then we also have the uh, Temperance card. Yeah. You know what's interesting is that... Hold on for just a second. Um, you, have some, you have two guardian angels that's watching over you, right? So... You have two guardian angels that's watching over you, protecting you and keeping you from, you know, keeping you from some things. And they're the ones that's sending messages to you. They know that you've been in this position right here. So you have three eight of swords. You have ten, ten, you have three ten of swords here. You have um, five of swords here. And just when they know that all the games and stuff that people have played and all the kind of stuff and people hurt people hurting you. They, I mean, they, they're aware of all of that, but some kind of proposal is coming across somebody's path. So congratulations. Some kind of proposal is coming across your path. So we have the six and three, we know it's nine, 10, 11. So when we talk about um, the number 11, and then we have, we also have three here. So three and three is six, right? So have faith, <clears throat> excuse me, have faith as it relates to there, okay, the message from the other side and your guardian angels, just so we're crystal clear, is to have faith moving forward. Like replace your fear with faith. So whoever has loved ones who have transitioned over, who have died, you may consider this died, they transition. And they are very much aware of all the pain, the hurt, and all of the stuff that you've gone through, right? But we're not going to harp on that, but it's just like more... It, it more uh, sword cards are coming out. So it's really letting me know that while wow, someone is a serious overthinker. And so sources say is though the sooner you get out of your head from overthinking, the sooner you can get on about the business of your head and heart not being at war with each other as it relates to the past. And you feeling like I, I didn't make the best decisions. I, you know, I'm at war with myself. See this right here. I mean, well, this is my, your inner self at war with each other. I can really get on about the business of living my best life. So here we have three and five. So it's just saying it looks, it looks like you and somebody, you and somebody who are going to be building a legacy together are like seriously in your heads think they over th whatever they are, whether it's in business or in love is thinking about a whole lot of things. And you're at the forefront of their mind. They're like, Oh my God. Okay. I'm nervous. I've gone through this. I've gone through that. You're at the same. I've gone through this. I've gone, they've gone, you know, this kind of thing, but you have for you specifically cancer, you have you cancer, <laughs> you, you, you don't worry about them because, because, 
this is your reading. They're going to have to look at their zodiac sign for their reading, right? Sources saying to you, you have two energies that transition, just so we're crystal clear, that is saying to you to get out of your head and stop overthinking. You have a big heart that people have taken advantage of in the past, both in your personal and your professional life. People have harshly judged you of being, of having you know, of having a temper or being reactive instead of being responsive, but they don't know all the hurt and pain you've gone through. So we're clear. And Source is saying to you, you don't have to be at war with yourself because I'm trying to speed up. Source is like, there's going to be a quick progression of things. It's almost like, okay, someone comes into your life, whether it's in business and or in love, and your third eye is already open now. You've already prayed, right? You've already prayed. So Source is saying, some kind of a proposal is coming across your path. Like I said, you're going to have to have faith. They're going to have to have faith in business and or in love. But I see it being a very rich legacy. If that, I don't know how much clearer, <laughs> I guess this is good news. I don't know how much clearer I can make this for somebody because that's what the message that's coming across. So whoever you've been having thoughts of, of who transitioned on the other side, and you've been thinking, okay, I miss so-and-so who died, a grandma, granddaddy, aunt, uncle, somebody, somebody like a mentor or like a mom or dad, somebody is saying to you, um, it's your time. It's your time. You survived a lot of things. You survived a lot of things that you weren't supposed to survive. But here we are, you on the other side. You are on the other side. All right, so let's get ready to close this down. This is good stuff. This is really, really good stuff, Cancers. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, somebody has gone through it. Here's the main thing, the main takeaway from all of this, Cancer, is that to stop overthinking things, right? Because you can sit around and let stuff swirl around in your mind to the end of time. Journal. I'm telling you, for those of you, this is what I'm picking up for somebody. I feel like months ago, Somebody journal down what a perfect business relationship would look like or what a person, a perfect romantic relationship would look like and how, who you would build with. And that's what's coming across your path right now, the year of wealth. You remember when we had all those tower moments and you got all these messages coming through? Remember we had all those tower moments in 2023, right, Cancer? And, um, and so this being the year of wealth source, I had to remove some people from your life that you weren't, that you kept over nurturing. I had to keep hitting you with that lightning bolt, get them out of your life so you can move on. So you can start opening up, making room for this wealth that's coming through. At least, like I said, at least eight streams of income, 17, one and seven is what? Eight, the money exchange number. I am independent. The quality of work that you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Now, don't take this as, like I said, as you and somebody in business or in, or in love, something where you're making some kind of impact on your community and the world at large. So this could mean you and your spouse saying, hey, I need to release some family members finally for once and for good. They have been causing too many distractions in my relationship and we got to make an impact. Me and my business partner or love interest need to make an impact on my, our community and the world at large. And certain family members, they just not making the cut. They're too, they're too much of a distraction. So I'm going to have to go along without them. I'm tired of the sabotage. I'm tired of the Judas spirit. I need to move on from that. Some people have cut off their entire family in order to make room for your impact on your community and the world at large, right? Remember, everybody got the same 24 hours in a day. So whatever your story is, you know, whatever your story is, source is saying the impact, you're a star. You're, you're, you're a star. You're a star. You are a star. And so anybody who harshly judged you and, you know, try to see, try to tell people you didn't have the good heart. Yeah, it's because they can't take advantage of you anymore. It's because they can't, they're not, they're benefiting, but not, they're benefiting from your good heart, but they can't really see how they're benefiting from your good heart. Like your star is at, at this level here, shining bright in the sky because you know what your purpose is, right? They don't see it as all those stars shining in the sky are illuminating the sky. So giving other people hope because they don't have direct access to 
tearing you down and having you to overthink and head and heart being at war with each other anymore. So, yeah. But they miss you. Yep. There's some, and I'm telling you, some people miss you because they miss. Their definition of love, trust, the definition of healing, the definition of gratitude, compassion, um, connection, forgiveness are so different than yours. This is where I want you to forgive yourself for not seeing it. A lot of times when you're hurt, you're like, okay, why don't people see it? Why don't people see that I'm a good person? Why don't people see... Because the more you kept overthinking stuff and they kept pushing the envelope back, the more they figure, oh, okay. Judgment is the thing that causes cancer to over overthink. If I if I judge cancer by how the way cancer looks, their creativity, if I judge cancer by if I don't accept cancer into the family, whether you are in law, a potential in law, into a work situation, if I don't accept cancer and I harshly judge cancer, that's going to keep cancer overthinking this. Hmm, okay. I found a way into cancer's universe. Your universe is your mind, right? But so now that um now that you recognize, like I said, you have your star, your own right, and your ancestors had I mean, you had two guardian angels that had they had to come talk to you. They had to come talk to you and say, No, no, we we're overseeing this. We we see how much pain and hurt you've gone through. We see you trying. We see you really, really we see your heart towards people. We see that. We see that you genuinely like to help people, Cancer. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Angelic template. Like I said, this number 29. Step into your own light. You have been an angel to a lot of people. You inspire a lot of people, Cancers. And believe it or not, even the energies that may have moved on from you or you may have moved on from them, that you have made an impression on them. You have definitely made an impression on, on a lot of people. And so, um, it's one thing when you, when I, that's why we talk about closing out cycles in love. When you close out cycles in love, um, and like I said here, there's a lot of people that really miss you. A lot of people that harshly judged you, who looked down on you, who thought that your big heart was meant that you weren't smart. I mean, I'm just going to be direct, right? They meant your, they felt like your, your good heart is that you can't be, you can't have a good heart and you can't be that over giving and be smart. You can't see people taking advantage of you, that kind of stuff. But what they don't realize is that your intellect, you're emotionally intelligent and, 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 you know, intellectually, your intellectual and emotional intelligence. And so, like I said before, um, I have the power to change my life for the better. That's right. I have the power to change my life for the better. And you did. You changed your life for the better. You absolutely were not meant to survive the the things that you survived in your own family. You know, a lot of, when I look at this, like a lot of families think that it's cool to, you know, talk about people when they leave a room. Oh, did you hear this? And did you know that? And so on and so forth. So a lot of judgment is coming down on some energies that harshly judged you. A lot of judgment is coming down on those energies that harshly judged you. Talk, talking about you to people. I mean, just mm. anyway. So, yep. Let's get um, let's get one more Oracle card and we're going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, yeah. One more Oracle card and we're going to go ahead and close this out. Yeah. You don't have anything negative to say about them. I get, like I said, you're making an impact. You're making an impact on your community and the world at large. And Source is saying, you you should, you should, you know, I, I feel like somebody's ancestor in particular, like an uh, older woman ancestor in particular, is just shaking their head like, oh my God. Now I see, like it's somebody's ancestor who is, a, like I said, older woman is like shaking their head. Like I now I see there was just no loyalty whatsoever in that family. So let's send a double dosage of uh, loyalty. Oof. Love spell. Mm -hmm. 21. Let the honey of your soul swell in the depths of love. That's right. 
And when I talk about love spell, I'm talking about putting a healthy love spell on yourself. Like all the love that you've been given to other people. Source is saying, cover yourself with that. Like say, tell yourself, I love myself so much. You know, like I'm putting myself first. I'm going to make sure my cup is filled before I fill up anybody else's cup. Like, you know, like give yourself a bunch of honey, like, like new pouring honey all over yourself. You know, I feel like somebody may be using, putting honey in their hair products. Cause since I'm looking at honey here or like, you know, like spoiling them, not spoiling themselves, but like putting honey possibly on there, like in their herbal teas and stuff like that. I just feel like somebody is just like learning how to love themselves deeper so that you'll know what to, how to communicate that to people and know when people don't really love you by your definition and move on sooner. So here we have sanctity through offering even the most, mon most, most mundane problem become, become a sacrament. That's right. So through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. So, yeah, a lot. It looks like a lot has happened. It, it definitely looks like a lot has happened. Um, but I definitely see. Um, I definitely see that. This, um, we talking about sacrament, we talking about, you know, the ritual, right? So, yeah. So somebody had just gotten to a point of just over giving where it just became just like a part of who you are, like overthinking, over giving, head and heart at war with each other. People just got used to you doing that. Like no matter what, cancer's going to come through. Cancer's going to make sure this happened. Cancer's going to make sure that happened. And that's why it's shocking some people now that they don't have access to you. That's why it's shocking people. So it's unfortunate that people take kindness for weakness and they want you to be, they see that meek you being meek as a weakness, but now they don't have access anymore. So that is what I have for you. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Here are your questions for the moon in Aries. For those of you all who want the question for the moon in Aries, the first question is, and think about this when you're overthinking things or your head and heart are at war with each other and you're standing situations, whether it's at work or in your personal life that keep hurting you. And you're like, I got to take the high road right? First question is, are you struggling with low self-worth? The second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or work that you're not happy with? The third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you known that you're fully supported, what would you do? That's right. Like I said before, you have the support of a lot of ancestors around you who know that you've had to cut off a lot of people. There's a lot of people who really miss you. And when I say it's some family members and ex-friends that really, really miss you, you know, like I said, you've been under harsh judgment, but now they're under harsh judgment of the things that they said about you because it, that mm, I, I can't even reiterate this. That's why I talk about closing out cycles in love, um, cancers. I'm telling you, closing out cycles in love, that right, that love trumps all of that hate. When you got to, when you, when you close out cycles and hate and anger and I mean, anger obviously is an emotion, but when I'm talking about when you just like react to that anger, it's, it's better to say, I need to move on. I need to move on from that job. I need to move on from that friendship, those family gossip. I need to move on from all of that in love. I got to go, you know, I need to go clean off these wounds and I need to find something that's some form of self-care because the reward is so much greater on the other side. That's what I have for you, Cancers, and I will see you on Freedom Friday. Bye.